And uh, what are the uh, biggest issues that college radio stations are facing right now? Well, I think there's several. Uh, certainly, college stations are facing uh, the challenge of uh, continuing to uh, prove their viability in the uh, changing uh, you know, media environment that we're all going through. Uh, the way the economy is, if you were self-sufficient uh, for your university, you might not be making as much money, so that could definitely uh, you know, bring up the idea that you know, the university now sees you as a, as a liability rather than an asset. Budget. Lack of support, lack of funding. Resources, of course, uh, in these difficult economic times. So the state of college radio right now is kind of a mixed bag. Some stations have been sold off, which is pretty devastating. Being sold off, uh, that's a huge thing, um, especially because a lot of times the way it happens is that the, the staff of the uh, station doesn't know what's going on. A lot of what we need to focus on is preventing these sorts of things from happening in the first place. It's, it's really difficult once something is set in motion to stop a sale. You know, NPR being, you know, all the same programming produced and sold to different stations all around the country, there's not really much emphasis on the local community or, you know, local music. College radio stations need to focus on being more local. Okay. We're not really held to a standard to do what other, like, local radio stations are. Because you're, you know, not finding you know, anyone throwing money at you to give you their music or anything like that. It really puts you in a position to find those guys who are just looking to get out there. College radio definitely has a certain edge to it because it's trying new things, it's innovating new things. Commercial radio stations don't normally like to experiment because if they have a formula that works, why, why tamper with it? Why, you know, mess with it? We can all do everything, you know, like basically, like we, we train, you know, each other on how to do, you know, and how, like, that, that kind of makes us unique that we can all pretty much do all of the stuff that we all do. That makes it I've brought a lot of bands actually in my job to Savannah and uh, you know they've all had a fantastic time playing their first show and it's just been great to you know bring that kind of uh, you know artistic presence to community. We want to ask the students what do they want to hear on the radio, what do they want to need on the radio and what do they want to tell the community. What I want people to get from this conference is uh, new learning, new ways of thinking, uh, solutions to solve problems, and then go implement them. Be able to touch not only the people on campus, but people outside the campus. So keeping ourselves relevant is something that I'm grabbing from here. We're hoping to gain a lot of new ideas for our radio station, uh, a lot of promotional ideas. I think learning how to keep retention and learning how to make incentives are definitely really great. There's been a lot of talk in various sessions about how to work with your administration to have a better relationship and make sure you're really integrated into the school community in a number of ways so that the school sees you as a valuable asset to the community. Keeping in touch with, your, first of all, your licensee as well as all the other departments uh, from a university, I think that's a huge thing. One of the things that I've always found is that it's really awesome to come here and to, you know, be able to see the rest of, you know, your industry and to be able to network with them, communicate with them, share ideas and to kind of band together. And it's kind of like a long lost family reunion or something where you're coming together and uh, realizing that you've got relatives and we're all in this thing together and that more than ever before is what's going to save College Radio and keep it going.